Hey, what up, Mustangs? Mr. Harp here, Physics Day 32. Uh, today I'm coming at you from my classroom because my power is out at home. Uh, but today's kind of a different day. I'm going to go through a super short lecture and talk about today's assignment. And then I'm going to discuss a little bit about Friday's quiz. Um, so this should be a short video. Um, so today, the lecture is hopefully a little motivation because in, over the course of this last week, and it's really more been like the last four days, um, there's been about four things that have made me realize that uh, people are struggling. And I don't think that's anything new. Um, and a lot of people have really good grades. But this time of the year, realize October is always rough. Um, I normally tell people as a teacher, October and March are the two worst months of uh, my job because when it comes down to it, there's no breaks. October is you've gone through most of September without a break at the end of September. All of October, there's nothing really to look forward to in terms of a day off. Um, and then uh, same with March. March kind of goes the same way where you're just trying to get to uh, spring break. And uh, most of March, at the end of February and all of March, there's really no breaks there. So realize um, that on top of being virtual, I think people just feel so burnt out right now. I know I do. Um, and realize that's going to pass. Um, the virtual stuff is making it seem like I just can't do virtual. Um, that's not it. This is the feel same feeling I get every single year this time, and it gets better, I promise. So just um, keep going, okay? Um, be thinking, and this is going to sound really preachy, but I want you to be thinking about what you want from life. I had another teacher, one of my best friends, text me a picture of – um, a student's email, and this sounds bad, like she was um, sending me other people's emails, but basically the student was just saying how much they struggle and don't feel like themselves when they're sitting on a computer all day. Um, and, and I agree, I don't either. I get a headache almost every day staring at a screen all day. Um, but I want you to be thinking about what you want from life in terms of success. When it comes down to it, 99% of time to be successful, you got to work hard. That's There's no secret formula uh, for being successful. It's working hard. Occasionally, unfortunately, you hear about all the people that are successful, the, the YouTubers or the stars that catch a break, um, or somebody who marries someone who has a ton of money. You hear about those, but you don't hear about all the other people that are just grinding every day, day to day, working hard to get uh, to where they want to be. And uh, I, I would say I'm kind of one of those people. I just worked hard. I, I got good grades. I went to college, did all this stuff, did my sports um, to get a good job and go to a place where I want to be um, and be successful. So again, realize a lot of this takes hard work. And that kind of leads me into the next thing is don't let your feelings dictate what you do. Um, Part of what I was talking about with that uh, teacher who sent me the email is just realize nobody nobody wakes up and goes, oh, I want to do something painful. And a lot of times schoolwork is painful. It's hard to make yourself do it. But if you feel like you don't want to do it, don't let your feelings dictate what you do. Your feelings change, um, sometimes really, really quickly. So don't let feelings dictate the kind of person you're going to be. Um, and uh, uh, that's easier said than done. I understand that. But realize um, if that, and this goes into the next thing I was going to say, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing poorly. I read this at one point, um, kind of in opposition to don't uh, do your best at one thing kind of thing. Don't half-ass things. Um, don't The quote was, don't half-ass two things, whole-ass one thing. And that's kind of a joke quote. But if it's worth doing, doing poorly, um, it kind of seems all or nothing for a lot of people. And they're either not doing the assignments or they're doing them and doing really well. 
And I'm kind of surprised. There's a lot of assignments that are, it's check in and do your attendance and you get credit for the day and people aren't doing those assignments. And so realize, even if you're just checking in, doing the bare minimum, doing your attendance and seeing what's due for the day. Um, sometimes like today, it's just hitting turn in on an assignment that's ungraded and I'm giving everybody credit for it. So um, again, even if you did some of this stuff poorly, you would have a better grade than if you don't do it at all right now. So keep that in mind. And then last thing um, is um, Dr. Goings, our principal said this the other day in our uh, staff meeting, and he said that hope is a dangerous thing. So realize if you keep thinking, oh, I just got to get to where we're back in ca on campus and not all virtual, um, that just keeps getting pushed out. And so if you're just keep hoping and hoping and hoping, your dreams just keep getting crushed and crushed and crushed right now. So keep in mind, expect the worst. Expect, hey, this whole year, we're not going back. If that was the case, would you be doing things differently right now if you knew the whole entire year was virtual? Because I have like my brother's teaching a, a, a girl and she said she's giving up. She's just counting on this semester, she's getting all Fs, and next semester, she's going to try and get back to it. And we were like, it's not too late. It's never too late. You can get your grades up. You can make this semester worth something, but you got to work and you got to do something right now. Okay, so hopefully um, that's a little advice from me and that's a little motivation. And if nothing else today, it makes you think, okay, we've got a few more weeks of the semester. I just got to grind this stuff out, get where I want to be, and then um, and then hopefully be better in second semester when we have a, a complete new fresh start, okay? So um, I'm going to get into today's assignment, and today's assignment is going to be a little bit different. Um, I want you to, and this was your opener question as well, I want you to think of two things you uh, want to accomplish today. And, uh, and one of the things, kind of the reason why I do this is one, I wanted this to be kind of a makeup day to get an old physics assignment done and turned in, something you're missing. Um, but also they say if you're feeling a little depressed, um, one of the best things to do is do something like cleaning your room or getting outside and exercising or doing something productive, um, even if it's completely random and not related to what you have to do. So I kind of wanted to approach it that way. So I want you to think of two things. Um, ideally, they're about physics, so maybe it's complete day 15's assignment. I still haven't done that. Or uh, maybe it's something not physics related and it's clean my room or uh, go out and run a mile or, or go on a walk or clear my head, something. I want you to think of two things, record those two things. That's your opener question. And then I want you to try and achieve both those things today. So especially if it's something physics related, if it's complete day 26, then go in, do day 26, uh, get motivated to do something. And then, of course, message me on Google Classroom or on Remind and say, hey, Mr. Harp, I completed day 26. Something like that. And I'll go in and update your grade. And you know, boom, my grade is better than it was the day before. Okay. Um, the other thing, whatever it is, cleaning my room or exercising, you don't need to prove to me that you did it. I'm going to trust you, but use today, use this 80 minutes of, of physics class, um, even though this isn't necessarily physics, to get something done, to get motivated and get one thing done. I'm going to try and uh, clean my room a little bit today, but of course I'll be on the computer for a lot of it um, in case you guys have any questions, okay? Um, so then last thing here uh, for today, if you have any questions about today's assignment, let me know. I'm, I'll be on Zoom at the normal times, um, or again, Remind or Google Classroom messages. Last thing is to, uh, next class for Friday, um, we've got a quiz. So uh, make sure you take it. That's the biggest thing. Um, in there, you can include a picture. Hopefully, it, it well, it needs to be school appropriate, a costume. Um, if you include a picture, here's some pictures of me in costumes over the last few years. Um, it's due Sunday evening. So I put in the assignment on Google Classroom. You'll see um, I really, really suggest that you guys do the quiz because it's really hard and submit it 
and then come back later. It's since this is due Sunday evening, you can come back on Sunday or even Saturday um, and submit your picture of you in your costume for extra credit. Um, and then if I might not know what it is, you should tell me what you dressed up as because I'm old and I might not get it. So you can see here some cool ones. Um, me with Miss Durr, uh, Miss Quinones, and my brother. Um, and we were the Monstars versus the Toon Squad from Space Jam. I'm Walter White right here last year uh, from Breaking Bad. That's my niece. And she was a, a Men in Black character. And then I was Bob from Bob's Burgers. Look at that beautiful hair I used to have. And then here I'm just twinning with some of our swimmers. And then my brother and I had mustaches. So we were Mario and Luigi a few years ago. So um, I love Halloween, love costumes. So include a picture and I'll give extra credit. That should just be something fun for you guys. And then, like I said, do the quiz. You guys will enjoy it. Um, even though it's so hard, everyone will probably fail. Um, do the quiz. You're going to like it. And then, um, like I said, get motivated to finish the semester right. Okay. So, um, I'm around if you need to talk and, uh, I'll end the video here, but as always, let me know if you guys need any help and, uh, I will, oh, and have a happy Halloween, have a safe Halloween, wear your mask, wear your face mask if you're going out. And uh, I will talk to you guys next week in class, okay? Uh, bye, everybody.